Hey everybody and welcome back to more Kickstarter crap. Today we're going to take a look at a project that you guys have been talking about lately and that is the Cyber Matrix 100. Now, I took a look at the Cyber Matrix 100 and I was slightly impressed because uh, there are hardly any spelling errors and uh, for the most part the, the project has a lot of content so uh, it's already better than half the projects that I've looked at on Kickstarter. But uh, aside from that, uh, this project was already funded, successfully funded, eight hours ago um, from the time I'm recording it right now. And it, it got funded for $504. He was looking for $500, but he got $504, and that's from 29 backers. Kickstarter, I'm um, letting you know that I'm getting ready to uh, put my project up on the Cyber Matrix 100 transaction of transaction unit one now before you guys say anything like i dubs you're an asshole don't make fun of the mentally disabled hey i'm not the one saying that you are okay i'm not, he as far as i'm concerned he's as mentally stable as you and i all right in fact probably more so so don't don't give me that shit okay don't give me that shit because i haven't said anything now uh i will say that he doesn't have the best stage presence and I will say that uh, I don't like his presentation style. Both uh, both areas are a little bit lacking. And I would say that, uh, you know, filming from your uh, living room, uh, the living room of a hoarder, to be quite honest, is, uh, is not the best, not the best thing for a video. Now, I did watch the entirety of the eight-minute video, and it didn't really get any clearer the more I watched it. So I gotta say that uh, we're gonna skip analyzing the video. There were just too many big words. They went through one ear and out the other. Um, I don't really understand what a matrix is. Cyber, cyber, what's it? I'm pretty convinced. I'm just more than anything curious about what the uh, what the cyber console is. So I would be tempted to back this project if there was a tier for getting the. The, uh, the the cyber matrix console, but there really isn't. We're just building his cyber matrix console. So uh, for ten dollars, that's the only reward tier. Unfortunately, you uh, you get a thank you from him. He will say thank you uh, in the year 2019. Now we're going to take a look at some of his mock-up drawings about uh, the design and layout of the uh, of the cyber matrix console. Now uh, this I I imagine is the front of the console. It says it has uh, four high-tech touch screens, which is good. And then it has a Cyber Matrix dual dual lens DVD RW reader writer and a partition reader writer. Now as far as I could tell, this is the back of the console. We have a high-tech intercooler and we have an HDMI port in and two HDMI ports out, which are triangular. And uh, more, more important than that, we have a Galaxy attachment port. So uh, if you have a, a, you know, a Samsung Galaxy Note, you'll be able to plug it into this Galaxy attachment port, and it'll be good to go. Uh, you might need, you might need an adapter though. I think you need a Triforce adapter that will plug into that and then into the console. I'm not quite sure. I don't have a, I don't have a Samsung Galaxy device. Now, moving on to more illustrations, uh, this, I think, demonstrates either the internals of the console or uh, something else entirely. I'm not quite sure. It might be a new model. Uh, in any case, we have the power board disk drives. We have the NAND, the EEPROM, the intercooler, and the quantum turbine engine. Kind of, <laughs> kind of feels like I'm playing space team. <laughs> As you scroll down, you're going to see more and more illustrations. I'm not going to explain these because they're pretty self-explanatory. And now we're going to take a look at the controller. Now, the controller is very interesting. It uh, appears to have a nicotine patch on the uh, bottom handle. And I'm not sure if that's to fuel the hamster that's uh, taped on the inside or if it's to keep the Cheerios from pouring out. It's certainly one of the two. I gotta say that this controller is very reminiscent of the Ouya. Uh, I would say that the design here is a little bit sleeker, and I would say that uh, it sort of looks like the sunburnt ash cheeks of a bent over Miley Cyrus. Uh, but that, you know, that could just be me. By this point, I would expect you guys to understand why this guy got fully funded. He's got loads and loads of content, there's no spelling mistakes, 
And uh, as far as the risks and challenges are concerned, well, nothing special. Obviously, this project was fully funded, and a lot of the people who were passionate about backing this project were kind enough to leave some comments. Almost half the people who backed the project left a comment, so we're going to read some of those comments today. I can supply Legos if you need them. Oh, and I have hot glue. Lots of hot glue. I hope your project does well. Very excited for cyberspace possibilities. I'm sure you can do it. I'm going to make an Animal Crossing dating sim. I'm not a furry, though. I just really like animals in that way, you know? <laughs> Those were the wonderful words of the people who backed the project. I hope that their money is well spent. I'm sure it will be. I'm sure their money is in great hands. And uh, I guess with that being said, we're going to end this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Kickstarter Crap, taking a look at Cyber Matrix. I really should rename Kickstarter crap. It should be Kickstarter gold or Kickstarter crumpets, you know, something better than crap because clearly this ain't that bad. Uh, but let me pause for a moment and say, if you didn't see my uh, appearance on the Co-Optional podcast, I'll put that link down below. I did, uh, I did make an appearance. I talked a little bit because I didn't want to be a mouthy motherfucker. Thank you so much for watching. Remember Facebook, Twitter, YouTube.com, slash IDubsTV, and remember to tune in next time when I deliver a dementia patient to my daughter. <music> to my daughter. I don't know why I would deliver a dementia patient to my daughter, but I imagine that, uh, I imagine that dementia is the word I wanted to use, and daughter just sort of came by the wayside. Things can fall by the wayside, but can things come from the wayside? Sure, I came from the wayside. <laughs>